All right, Blake, Gabe, floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the introduction, Robert. Hello, team. Hello, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Blake Corkill. I am the Director of Growth and Strategy here for 21st Century Lending. Um, I really appreciate everybody coming out today. I want to start off by um, showing everybody just, whoops, sorry, loose fingers there. Show everybody a little video I created. Um, please take a moment to just look at it. Um, it's something we created at a bomb bomb, a tool that I recommend everybody using. Can you guys hear it? No, I cannot hear it. I can't hear the video. Okay, hold on one second. How do we get that up? Yeah, it is here though, but it's not transferring over. Hmm. Robert, do you know how to get the video to play through here? Yeah, we'll come back to this guys, but sorry about that. Oh, do you know how? So stop the share. Okay. And then click share screen. Click share sound. Ah, uh, thank you. There you go. All right. And our goal is to offer more. Right. Hey guys. Please. All right. So Robert got that hooked up for me. I didn't click, click the right button. So let's show this little video. It's from Bomb Bomb. Something I just shot today, right before I did some other media content today. Um, a tool that I want to go over and utilize later, but I kind of wanted to show you how it works. Hey guys, Blake Corkill here with 21st Century Lending. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to let you know that I will be training today's session and our goal is to offer motivation, inspiration, and the tools needed to win deals. Thank you again so much for joining our session today. So co really cool tool, tool I use all the time for communication, much easier than email or any other aspect. And we'll kind of go over that as we go. It's something that we utilize at 21st Century Lending as often as we can. Um, but I wanna jump right into our, our subject today is how do you partner with an in-house lender? Um, as you guys know, as this merger has come along, we have in-house lending now, a very good in-house lending. Um, Top tier, we have all the products and pricing we need and everything to compete and fight for your business and help you win more deals as agents. Um, some questions I have for you, and please flood the chat box with what you got, but what are the biggest hurdles do we see right now currently with your current lenders? Um, what would you like to see from your lender? What would you change about your current lender? And how quickly on average are you getting an accepted offer and closing from your current lender? Um, what, what current follow-up are you receiving for your current lender? As you put those into the chat, we'll answer those as we go through this. Um, we're gonna hit on a few different points of training today too. We're gonna talk about how to partner with us and why it's better to partner with us. And for any loan officers that are on the file, we're also at the end to go over how to strategically partner with other realtors outside the company if you're a loan officer. Um, so moving forward here is, as you guys get those questions in, um, what are your pain points for other lenders that you're using outside the company or that are on the other side of, uh, if you're a listing agent primarily, that you're seeing not being um, utilized or um, reasons transactions are falling out or any, any hurdles you have with those lenders? Um, let me know. We have one in the chat right now. Um, any questions? Yeah, perfect. So 21st Century Lending, the best way to partner with us and answer all of your questions is very simple. We have everything on the resources pages na page needed. Um, and on that resource page, you will be able to see a lending tab. Under that lending tab, you are gonna have about us and who we are as 21st Century Lending. It's gonna go through everything, but more uniquely is you're gonna have two submission forms on here, a pre-approval submission form and a scenario submission form as we scroll through. Sorry, for the, I don't have my mouth today. And it's very easy for you to reach out to us, submit scenarios on unique situations or situations that um, you have questions on, lending related, and or if you need to reach out to us to have a client pre-approved and you want it streamlined and easy, we have a form here. You can just submit it right to us. We monitor that and we'll pair you up with an in-house lender that's going to go ahead and take care of you and get your transaction from A to Z as smooth as possible. Now, there's many ways and many um, tools that we use to ensure a prompt smooth transition as we're going through this, right? Um, so some of the tools that we are, we have constant 
communication, right? I know everybody says communication is key and everybody preaches they have communication. But as you see what we do as a company as a whole, you know communication and training on our, on our level is very high. We execute at a high level. 21st century lending is no different on that. Um, we are consistent, simple, effective, and modern. And what I mean by modern is we are utilized to send out updated videos. As you saw in that bomb bomb, we send out updated videos to our clients as milestones to help them go through the transaction. So no one, including the listing agent, yourself and the client, feel like they're left out of, out of communication um, and not knowing where the transaction is going, right? Also, accuracy, key is in accuracy, making sure we're consistent in that department. We're disclosing things and talking to the clients in the manner that they want. There's no bait and switch and everything is always from A to Z, consistent and clean. We're precise, we do our due diligence. You'll see we have a new series of videos coming out coming uh, next week. It's gonna be called Winning Wednesday. You'll see some ways that we are winning and what we're doing to help our other realtor partners through our company succeed and win more deals. Um, and we, you know, we fully vet the files. I know that's really important because how many people and respond in the chat or um, tell me is how many people have gotten a pre-approval from another lender to realize it wasn't even fully vetted? It had holes in it left and right. If it was a ship, it would have stank. Um, I think that's really common in our industry right now. So we fully vet the files. We pull credit. We analyze credit. We do everything from A to Z to make sure once it's submitted and we get an offer accepted, we're going to close that loan um, bearing any God, God instances, right? Anything uh, out of our control. Um, Next, next factor I'd like to hit on is, Gabe, get in that chat? Yeah. yeah, next factor as I'd like to hit on is our speed and how consistent we are with speed. And I have another slide here we'll jump to about speed. But just so you know, the average turn time, I believe in Riverside County alone, and I use these stats because that's where my main office is out of, is um, about 42 days um, contract to close. So open a close for most lenders in our area. We consistently beat that by more than 50%. And then we all know if we could offer you more time on your transactions, there's going to be a, more money to be made. You could prospect more, door knock with your realtor partners um, and things of that nature, or your lender partners, I should say. Let me chime in on the Yeah. I just wanted to chime in on, on the accuracy, uh, you know, in regards to pre-approvals, um, our pre-approvals are thorough. So, you know, what we're doing is we're not just asking the client a couple questions. We're, we're taking a complete loan application, um, getting um, ink documents, getting um, asset documentation. We're, we're thoroughly reviewing credit. We're, we're, what we're doing, we're delivering a full pre-approval package to our realtor partners, which includes a pre-approval letter, includes a copy of the buyer's FICO scores, includes a uh, copy of their proof of funds with their account information omitted, and it also includes a DU approval. So we're not putting the horse before the carriage. We're getting the carriage loaded and getting those horses ready to go to the closing. So, um, you know, one of the things to remember when working with us, we, we've been doing this a while, a combined about 30 years or so in, in the lending industry. And um, what we do is we make sure that there, there's no hiccups in the file by the time we're to the point where we're making offers. If there's any hiccups, we communicate that clearly. If we come up with any speed bumps along the way, because we all know in the world of real estate, everything isn't always perfect and things come up, things happen. And so what we do when we see these obstacles in the road, we make everyone aware so we can collectively come up with the solution and move forward to close the transaction. And, you know, a perfect example, we had a file where, you know, the appraisal came in lower. Listen, we're in a transitioning market. It was a VA loan. The, the appraisal came in lower. We teamed up with the realtor and we got on the phone with the the uh, the realtor who was who was representing the buyer and the listing agent to explain the scenario, and we were able to help that realtor negotiate a purchase price that matched the appraised value. So you know, with, with the accuracy, we we also have that commitment to overcome any obstacles so we can get to our combined goal which is closing escrow. So I just want to elaborate on that accuracy. So this way, um, you know, we're clear on exactly what that means, but that's it, go ahead and take it away. 
No, very good point, Gabe, and I appreciate that. Um, to add to that, is that something we practice and preach as a company? So we do it from top down, and that's you lead from the front. That's something I hear a lot, and I truly believe in. So what we're doing is we're teaching that from the top down, so anybody and all of us are able to deliver all of this accuracy for you at the same time. Um, the biggest thing that I really like to talk about is our client retention. And why is that important? Is because even though all of us are very busy, we have the technology to stay in front of our clients and keep the client retention for the agent. That is the most important thing, letting the agent know when the client reaches back out, letting the agent know when we make contact with the client, letting them know that we're keeping in front of them with our personal CRM and making sure we're staying top of mind so we can always help the, the agents, our partners, retain clients going forward. And I think that's huge. On average, we're getting two referrals from most of our clients. Um, as we go forward. So those referrals transition straight to you too, because we're delivering such an awesome job on the back end. The stressful side of the transaction, in my opinion, is the finances. And we're delivering a clean, comfortable experience with excellence that delivers referrals. And that is really key. The, life to, the lifeblood to our industry is referral business, getting that referral business and delivering excellence. Um, and that is really important to us. Something we preach and practice daily is staying top of mind, staying on, on top of our database and making sure we're retaining our clients to the best of our ability. Um, do we have any questions about any of this? I know uh, Gabe's hitting up the chat box right now. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So something else that is really unique to us, we have a lot of strategic partners um, on the wholesale side. So we have about 50 different wholesalers or so we could send loans to. So what that allows us to do is capture more volume, cast a wider net, deal with unique and exotic programs, and better all is create strategic alliances with some of our stronger partner programs, or partners, I should say, and offer va huge value and saving. So on average, oh, I skipped one actually. No, nope, there we go, we're right here, boom. On average, we are about $9,400 cheaper across the board for our borrowers with, with our lender partners. Um, and this is real data. This is data we could pull from HIMDA. Remember all loans go in and they all get tracked. In our county of Riverside, we're on average about $9,400 cheaper than our competitors. That's me, let's just sum that up. That means we could deliver $9,400 worth of um, uh, purchase power back to the client because that's less they got to bring in on the transaction, less they got to pay for a, higher, uh, for a lower interest rate, less they pay for closing costs. So all of that, we are cheaper all the way around. Our rates are going to be more competitive, um, and that helps us be way more cheaper also. Um, and when I say cheaper, I don't mean cheap as an experience. I mean less expensive for our client. I don't like that word cheaper. Um, something else, oh, I've got this little guy in my way. Something else that I'd like to touch on, going back about how we are cheaper and faster than everybody, or less expensive and faster than everybody else. Um, this is real data collected from HIMDA. Um, the average in Riverside County right now, average time to close in Riverside County is 42 days. This is as of last, um, this last month. Um, our average close times right now are about 16 days and the average loan amount where we're at is about $550,000. Um, now, if we break this down and we take the days back by working with Century 21, so closing faster, you're gonna get more time on the books to do things that actually make you more money and you don't have to stress about getting loans closed or getting to the closing table by a lender that didn't do their due diligence. With the average loan amount, we're able to increase volume for you. Now this is loan volume, but we're able to increase people's volume by keeping them on the phone and prospecting longer by that. So on a potential commission base on efficiencies gained with turn time difference is about $429,000. Now that is Amazing. So depending on your volume, just by choosing the right lender, you will be able to become more efficient, turn over more transactions and stress less. Now, this is all real data. This is stuff that we collected that we do. Um, and it, it is it is amazing. Now, this hits home because if you had more time to prospect, wouldn't you prospect more rather than stress about a file that's not making it to the finish line and it's two days before closing? Um, and on, to top that, because our turn times are so much faster and because we are very um, methodical and diligent on how we operate. We're able to offer a little more competitive turn times if we need to on certain contracts. So it gives us the ability to leverage our, our structure and deliver on a high level for you guys. Um, Some questions I can answer. Yep, go for it. Cool. Answer the questions. 
All right, guys. So we we had a, a question come through the chat from uh, Lynn Blair. Thanks, Lynn. Uh, you know, asking about clients with any um, credit challenges. So to answer your question, yeah, we can help out with that. And really that that's all a part of our pre-approval process. We'll take a look at the client's credit and in that review, we'll identify if there are any things that we can tweak quickly in order to bring the scores up to get the client a better deal, right? Now, the, the reverse or the, the other scenario is, what if we have a borrower that cannot qualify because of their credit? Well, we'll do the same thing. You know, in a lot of instances, we'll be able to coach the client's credit up, meaning identifying a couple of bullet points, a couple of quick fixes that they can do in order to bring their FICO scores up. Now, if, if their credit is really bad to where, you know, they're, they're going to need some heavy work. Well, we, we have um, sources and partners that do credit repair. We can partner up with them and they're, they're reputable. They work. Um, I've had clients that have gone through their programs and they've gotten things removed from their credit to cause their scores up. So uh, go up. So bottom line is this, anybody who who is looking to buy um, the best thing to do is get them in front of us. Uh, we we don't want anybody to walk. And so if it's a matter of someone becoming a buyer after they're able to go through these steps and it turns into a transaction um, 60, 90, 120 days down the line, like our commitment is to move at that client's pace. And if they're willing to follow the steps, we'll keep in contact with them and walk them to that point to where they do qualify for a, a home loan, for financing. And, you know, like you brought up to 20 percent the more someone has to put down the the better the better off they're going to be i mean even even in that case where you have someone with 20 percent down but maybe their fico scores in the 500 somewhere you know mid fives low fives whatever the case may be there's still the possibility that they would qualify for an fha loan right the fha loan yeah of course yeah it has mortgage insurance but you know just analyzing the options maybe the um, fha loan is a um a, a one year loan they keep for one year and they refinance out of that FHA loan. So th th there is a, a plan and a program for, for every client that's out there. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take them to uh, get to where they need to go. Um, Blake, want to add anything on that? Uh, no, I think, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. Mitra Mike. Um, hundred percent is we partner with the right people to help credit repair. We also have tools inside of our loan operating systems with credit remonitor or credit repair. It's called the rapid rescore. Um, so that rapid rescore allows us to analyze your credit internally right there on the spot, kind of like you was talking about, and determine if we paid off certain debts, how could we get your credit higher? And, and it gives us the probability and all the instructions we need to do that also. So again, we have lots of tools and capabilities to help our borrowers from wherever they're at to achieve home ownership. Now we have some, I have a lot actually, I probably have six to eight people right now in credit repair that they will eventually start to pop out of credit repair in 30 to 60 to 90 days for my um, for our partners for those future transactions. So we don't just put them in credit repair and leave them either. We leave them either. We take them from start to beginning with our partners. They keep us updated and we deliver that client right back to you so we can get them in that in a home instantly. Um, any other questions there we need to touch on? We're good. All right. So a little bit about our technology stack, just how we keep in front of people. And I know Keith's going to go over this with a lot of agents, but we've used this on the lending side too. We use follow-up boss. Now, why do we use it? Because with our in-house lending, we love that everybody can keep track of what's happening to our clients. So for instance, if Jack here, I needed him to call and I call him out a follow-up boss, that phone call is going to be recorded and there for the agent to see what our follow-up procedures are and how we're calling our clients. So it keeps the transaction very transparent. Communication is going to be really key in those situations in that area because you're going to know when we're following up with our clients, sending them emails, doing those things, those things because we could do it right out of follow-up box. Um, you add that with just our bomb bomb. That's what I did earlier. That's something I send out and I encourage all my loan officers and the loan officers in the company to utilize. I send out a bomb bomb almost on every file, two or three of them. Just a personalized message on where we're at in the transaction, how's it going, and what we're doing. And then on top of that, we have front end automated um, situ uh, front end automated videos that will be going out, going out to update the client as we go further, and that's being integrated right now as we speak. So videos updating about, through the whole process when the appraisal is delivered, um, when we're clear to close, when we have docs, the whole process will be automated. So everybody's going to be communicating communicative through that whole situation. Um, that is kind of a little. A, 
big rundown of 21st century lending. Um, I am in the offices every Tuesday, Wednesday. I travel to all the offices from Riverside County, LA and Orange. Um, so if you see me in your office and you have any question or need anything at all, never hesitate to reach out to myself. I will be bringing Gabe with me and other uh, real, our lender partners with me to come in and just introduce people into the offices. Um, but if you have any questions, um, let me know in the chat. We can get these answered right away. Let's see here. Yes, yes we, we, we got a question from uh, Ayana, uh, right? What, what is the turn time for a client pre-approved? So how, how long does it take us to run through pre-approvals? Great question. Yeah, that is, that a, great is a great question. question. So we, we are committed to keeping all pre-approvals at a 24-hour turn time, no matter what it takes. So we will make sure as, as you send us an, uh, a client to get pre-approved, you'll ha have an answer within 24 hours of what they're pre-approved for and what programs they are qualified for and what, we're, what we have talked about with that client. So from start to finish, once we get um, the client, contact with the client and get that application over, we should have that pre-approval with you in 24 hours. On the same note, let's say you send us a contract. We will have that contract and that appraisal ordered, which is a big stress to a lot of people within the first 24 hours also, just to reassure that we are getting things done um, in a timely manner on the file. Now, if we need to pause the brakes or do something not to get these certain tasks done as fast as we want, again, you guys have autonomy in this and you can communicate with us on exactly what we need to do and how we need to execute those transactions. The beauty about keeping it in-house, again, is we are one team and we all are, are have objectively have the same goal um, of closing transactions and helping clients get into homes. Um, and just just to add add something um, to be clear, like on, on the pre-approvals, like, you know, if we get the the full package right meaning the client goes online they they complete a thorough application and we get the the necessary income documentation we'll get that approval knocked out in 24 hours if if there's if there's something weird about the file as soon as we identify that we're going to we're going to notify our realtor partner we'll communicate it with the client and and we'll explore um, alternative options so say for example let, let's say we have someone that's a business owner and they, they give us their tax returns they're not showing a lot of income on there well we might need to get bank statements to to see if we can qualify them using bank statements so th those are the exceptions or the scenarios where where it may take a little bit longer than 24 hours but but you will get a response within 24 hours in all complete um, uh, loan applications that are submitted to us that are clean, regular W-2 paycheck sub kind of deals. Those we bang out in 24 hours, um, a lot of times within an hour or two from the time we get them. We move pretty quick on those. But um, yeah, I just want to make sure we're clear on that. And then as far as um, communication through the process, every step of the way, you know, when, when we receive the application, we'll notify the uh, realtor partner. Uh, when we've completed review, we'll notify the realtor partner. And what we'll, what we'll end up doing is when the uh, pre-approval is complete, we'll, we'll email the uh, pre-approval uh, package is what we call it to our realtor partner, which includes the pre-approval letter, copy of the FICO scores, a, a copy of the proof of funds with the account information omitted, and a, a copy of the DU approval. So any any um, type of Fannie Freddie loans, we're running DU approvals without him being asked. We're, we're including that in the pre-approval package. Precisely. What if the other, what, what if there's an older buyer that is not comfortable using an online portal? Are there options for them to scan? That's a great question. Yeah. If we have a buyer that is not comfortable, we have multiple options we could um, help them with. A lot of times we do a Zoom walkthrough, but if they're really not tech savvy, we'll get an agent out there to help them. We'll, we'll devise ways to have them feel comfortable giving us the docs. A lot of times is walking them through their smartphone and helping them. I've done that a lot of times because that tends to be the easiest thing someone can operate to scan a document. A lot of free applications out there. We could do Zoom meetings. We could send a client out there or, or one of our, one of our uh, LOAs out there to go grab documents. Um, depending on the area, we have loan officers everywhere. We have the ability to help, help them all locally, um, and we'll work through that situation. But what I find most comfortable um, right out the gate is, if you have, most people have a smartphone today, you could download something called a tiny scanner. So if anybody wants to take note on this, it's a free app. You literally just take a picture and what that scanner or what that application does is it takes that picture and turns it into a PDF for us and sends it right over and they could text it right over to us. So we could use text options, secure portal, email, drive out, collect docs and help them scan them. Um, anything to get the deal, the deal in there for us. 
Yes, 100%. Right when the form is submitted, and great job and great question. Right when the form is submitted for a pre-approval, um, we let you know that we got that form and we communicate that with you and we let you know that we're about to reach out to that client. So everybody's on the same page and we know what action items are happening and when they're happening. So once we call that client, we're going to send you an updated email and phone call letting you know exactly what happened and what the time frames are and how that conversation went. The name of that app, Eddie, is Tiny Scanner or just use Mobile Phone Scanner in the search. If you have an Android, it could be named something different. But there's a lot of free apps out there. You just take the picture, convert it to PDF, and sends it over. Everybody has a smartphone, so I've found real good success with this when helping the, an older clientele that's not as tech savvy. Adobe Scan is a great app also. Um, so if you have that, I believe you might have to pay for that one, but that is a great app. Oh. We got a question from Tyrone. Do we have a list of loan officers? How, how do we do All right, we do have a list of loan officers, Tyrone, and I'll reach out to you personally. No, but how do we want to communicate? Oh. Oh, well, yeah. well, sorry, I probably jumped the gun on that. We have a list of loan officers. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we do have a list of loan officers, and you'll have a, you, we'll, I'll be able to get with you that on one on one. But right out the gate, if you have anybody that you need, if you go to that resources lending page, you could submit a form, and we'll be in contact with you within about an hour on those submission forms. Or you could reach out to uh, myself personally, and we can get someone on top of anything you need. As far as reading, uh, meeting other lenders and wanting to partner with people exclusively, we most definitely are going to be bringing people around to the offices. Um, you'll be able to meet other loan officers and all that good stuff um, as we get this going and moving forward. Um, we're also hosting a lot of the prospecting calls on Tuesday, Wednesdays, guys. Um, I was in West Covina yesterday. We're prospecting. We had 10 or so people show up. We brought dinner. So um, something to think about out there, a great way to meet your in-house lenders is we will be at those, uh, at those functions helping and supporting you as often as we can. But again, the easiest, and great, the easiest thing is we want to streamline the process for you as simply as we can. So the resources page, submit a uh, pre-approval if you have one or a client, or give me a call instantly and we'll jump on that right away. Get, get them service for you. Right back back to you. And, and just to add on that, like the, the, the goal is we, we want to streamline the process. We want to make it consistent, simple, and concise. And we want to make sure that our realtor partners know that they, they will get um, taken care of with kid gloves, right? And so, you know, like like Blake said, a resources tab, all the scenarios that get submitted. Uh, we'll have tools, uh, 21st century uh, lending branded tools that you guys could use out in the field, um, all these things in the works. But yeah, as far as um, getting in contact with a loan officer for scenarios, so on and so forth, uh, resources tab, um, or just reach out to Blake directly. Any other questions, guys? Here, uh, do we call the client once the form is submitted? I answered that okay, one. Perfect. 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 Yeah, guys, to sum this up too, to have a lot of confidence here, we have an awesome processing staff too. Back in support, um, a intake person that intakes everything, does everything from start to finish. So again, we're able, I'll give you a little insight. We're able to take loans like we did on a purchase of Murrieta. And you guys will see a little video come out. So this will give you a little snippet. A purchase of Murrieta where a loan officer went from, got the contract and got a uh, one day CTC, right? So clear to close in a day. And that's just from doing our due diligence, them um, having good in-house training, them being professionals in their field and submitting packages that are clean and precise and streamlined. So he got his one day CTC. We were able to get that agent moving on to the next transaction and the clients were amazed and happy and we superseded everybody's expectation. And that is our goal to make us all stand out as one and by, prefer and by partnering with the right lender really helps. We all know that if you had a lender on the other end that has muddled things up a little bit, it, it makes it a little more complicated to uh, have confidence. We're here to deliver excellence for all of you guys. Any other questions? No, student loans, how do we have a student loan? So stu good question. So student loans are based off of guidelines. So Fannie has guidelines. Freddie Mac has guidelines and Jenny may have different guidelines. Your typical rule of thumb is you're going to be hit for, if they don't have a payment on file that pulls on credit, you're going to be hit for 1% of the loan balance to as low as half of a percent of a loan balance. So if your loan balance is a thousand bucks, you'd be hit for 
uh, um, $10 or $5, right? So 1% or a half a percent. Now, if they have a balance on their student loans and there's a projected payment because they're making monthly payments, we stick to those payments that they have scheduled. And a lot of times if you're on an income-based payment plan or if you're on a, um, a more liberal payment plan, the payment plans can be significantly cheaper if they're paying them monthly than hitting them for 1% or even half of a percent. Perfect, Rosalinda. Perfect, Rosalinda. Yes, I have a Spanish speaking loan officer and we do do mobile homes, I, I-10, first time home buyers. Um, I will get someone in contact with you right away um, and have them start helping you out and um, building those relationships and driving business. Um, I will take your number down and I'll get you all set up. If you have any scenarios now, um, reach out to us, um, give me a call. Dave's gonna put my email address up there. He'll put my cell phone up in there and we can get these going right away um, and reach out to any clients that you might have and get you partnered up right away. Thank you for that, Rosalinda. Any other programs that you guys are seeing that you wish other lenders had? Or again, back to the original questions, what are your stress points with lenders? What are you seeing that you would like to be solved? Or more importantly, how can we support your business and help you grow? Are other lenders doing that? Are they reciprocating? Um, so Blake, I have a question. Yep. One of the issues that I get from a, a coaching standpoint that I hear from agents is they got pre-approved. Markets obviously changes and fluctuates day to day. Yep. They go to write up an offer on a 60-day pre-approval letter. And then when it gets to the underwriter, it doesn't qualify anymore. So what do you do on your end in terms of communication or whatever it would be yep. to make sure that the client is always knows that, look, things might have changed. Let's get you an updated letter. How do you, how do you all handle that? So that's actually fantastic. Um, a, we got to manage the pipeline. So just like you said, uh, time management earlier is what I was coaching today. Um, it comes down to time management. We, we touch those files every week. We want to make sure we're in constant communication with our buyers that are sitting in that pre-approval limbo stage on where the market's at and how it's going and what's dictating it. If rates take a big jump and we know we have buyers on the edge too, right when we notice rates are taking a big jump because we watch the market diligently and we share where rates are going all the time, we also reach out to those partners, let them know, hey, rates change today in the better or rates change today in the worse, and this is where you stand. It's just about keeping that communication up, but weekly updates is what we um, do. We wanna get them weekly updates. So when you get to the closing table or when you get in contract, you're not, oh, the rates went up 2%, you can't qualify anymore. And just if I can add, add something to that too, um, again, the partnership between um, us and our realtor partners is one of, you know, consistent communication. So, you know, if they're out shopping and they're, and they're making an offer on a property, uh, we want to know about it uh, because there are things like um, supplemental taxes, Melarus, that, that can throw off um, the pre-approval. And so, again, the relationship between us and our realtor partners, constant communication. Hey, what are you guys doing? What are you writing on? All right, cool. Let me look it up. Let's make sure the tax base is, is um, you know, wh where we uh, need it to be in order to qualify. So, yeah, if the uh, realtors out there writing offers on properties, like we we want to know we if we need to get an updated pre-approval letter to reflect the subject property address on the pre-approval letter to make it look stronger. If we got to update a DU approval, um, we want to do those things in order for our realtor partners to be able to succeed. Because at the end of the day, if they're selling homes, we're closing loans, and everyone's happy. And you hit the nail on the head, man. Um, Exactly. If you're shopping now, I was kind of talking about that idle person that's a looky loo. We're not taking them out too much because they're a little hesitant. But if we have an active shopper, there is no way that active buyer and you are showing homes without knowing where we're at in this loan process the whole time, without knowing what rates are going on, without you're going to know everything with an active buyer. Now, if we have a pipeline of pre-approvals and we know these looky loos are, we give those pipeline pre-approvals a once a week update, ask them how their shopping experience is going, and then relay those messages to our realtor partners and letting them know how our update goes. And that kind of goes back to our step tech, right? So follow-up boss is key. We make those phone calls, send those emails and text messages through follow-up boss. So our realtor partners and us are all, we in follow-up boss, if you haven't seen it yet, you will see in that streamlined communication between all of us. And you'll be able to see when we make those touch points too. And we're delivering that, um, that communication that is necessary through the transaction. 
TBD underwrite. Um, yes, Holly, good job. So Holly is um, one of, she's on our call today. She's one of our account executives for one of our, 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 our preferred partner, United Wholesale Mortgage. Um, but she's right. We also do TBD underwrite. So if we have a file that we need to underwrite right away to make sure we could have a stronger um, offer, we could get it underwritten as a TBD address and send that over to the realtor, uh, the listing agent and say, hey, look at this. It's actually already been underwritten. This is all we're missing. Um, we're ready to go. We need the appraisal, the property address, and we're pretty much ready to go. Income assets, everything has been verified by an underwriter. So that's really important. We can get those TBDs done very quick. Typically, after a full package is done and we got a pre-approval done, we can get a TBD, TBD scenario done in 24 hours. Thank you, Holly. So that gives us a lot of filing power too. We have a automated, or if we have a fully underwritten file and all we're missing is a house, it'd be hard for an agent to turn down a client at that point. Complete pre-approval, see what Scott said. Complete pre-approval package, not just the PAL, yep. Proof of funds, DU credit report, exactly, Scott. Scott is one of our best loan officers. He's hit a nail on the head. Um, we, send, we send the full package. We don't mess around. We don't want to get you an escrow and come out of escrow and fall out of escrow. We, we don't have a, a fallout rate that's high. It's actually very, very low. And that's because of our due diligence up front. It'd be an act of God for us not to close an escrow, in all honesty, with our bulletproof pre-approval process. Guys, you meet in person. Some people prefer that too. Yes, 100%. We will meet in person. We have all these beautiful offices located through the three counties. I am in these offices twice a week. So we will always be around to meet with clients um, and um, again, cater to their needs, help them out. Um, you're 100% right. People do like to meet in person. They would love to know who they're giving their finances to and we'll make ourselves available to help out in that way also. So I, I, do, I have one more question. Oh yeah, we can do in offices or in home. Sorry, Robert, to cut you off just to finish up that client or that thing. Oh, by all, by all means, cut me off because <laughs> I, I'm expressive. And if you don't cut me off, well, I'll just keep going. <laughs> That's true. I got one of those in the room with me too. <laughs> so what are you seeing uh, in terms of your buyers that are getting escrows opened on purchases? Is there anything you're seeing that's, hey, look, this is this is something that seems to be helping your buyer's offer get accepted, or this is something that we've done that seems to help our buyer's offer get accepted? I mean, is there any little trends or tips that you're seeing on your side that's helping buyer's offers get accepted? 100%. And I'll tell you, the biggest one is that first slide in our little presentation today, that bomb bomb video. I send out a bomb bomb video thanking everybody for allowing us to submit an offer, letting them knew, know who I am and letting them know what we're about. It's a probably 30 to 45 second video. I try to make them as, I have some backups that are just generic that I could send out if I'm on the run. And then I have some that I try to make as personal as, as possible. Those are the little, that one thing right there has hands down given me more escrows and allowed me more opportunities to win over other people because of the personalization of seeing me face to face like we do over Zoom. Now, there's a lot of things. It's, uh, when we're getting offers accepted, it depends on how strong that pre-approval packet is. It depends how much information is in there. And if we're actually calling the listing agent or sending these videos and discussing that packet, because how many times has a listing agent got a pre-approval packet, looked at the DU approval and might not have understood exactly what was going on in that DU approval? I like to call, we, we, we all call and go over the DU approval and tell you what the hurdles are, then there are never hurdles, but what, what we have to do to um, close this loan. Now, on top of that, if you do these to be determined underwrites, that's a fully underwritten file, except for having the house. If you start submitting those with your clients on tough to win deals, those files will get won all the time because our files already been underwritten. So those few little points kind of set us apart from everybody else because we're able to do our due diligence up front. And we're just going to seem stronger at our initial presentation than everybody else. Another uh, another ninja move I, I like I like to uh, have a realtor partners pull um, our in house realtor partners is that you know when when you explain to a listing agent that your buyer 
is not just pre-approved with your in-house lender, but they're pre-approved with your broker-owned lender. Like, yeah, we're a lending company too, listing agent. So we have skin in the game on both sides. So best believe that this deal is going to close. Come hell or high water, we're going to make sure we do anything and everything humanly possible to make it happen. And, and that's something that the our realtor partners can sell on the front end. Uh, and that's something that 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 we sell and we convey in in communicating with the listing agent. And you know, on top of that, you know, at the end of the day, if it takes us getting on the phone, calling, talking to the listing agent, we're we're fully involved. So we're not behind the scenes like a lot of loan officers are. We're in the front. And you know, that goes with the the um, communication, the personalized communication that we'll do with bomb bomb videos and things of that nature. But um, yeah, just pulling the fact that our our lending division is actually broker owned. We're the same company, so not only are we representing the the buyer on on the real estate size, but we're also representing them on the lending. That piece right there holds so much weight. So just another tidbit to add. It really does when you could tell them that we're keeping it in house and we have two parties like just shows more commitment and investment into that into that transaction. We do use that um, personally and um, with our in house partners and it works really well. And they love the idea that the communication is streamlined too. So when you start talking to the buyers, um, when we're going back to the client base, they love the idea that we work so closely with our realtor partners because they know the communication between us is super key and we sell that too. That's a great selling point. And, and, you know, just one thing to add on that note, and, and I think this is something that um, might, might be bit missing out there in the industry. Um, we, we, we view our realtor partners as true partners. We are business partners, right? Um, communication is key. We're not adversaries. We're not working against each other. We're working with each other. We're on the same team, even more so now, having 21st century lending and century 21 uh, under the same roof. Um, we, we're, we're one in the same, and the communication is critical. Reaching out to us with any needs or any questions that you have, like like we, we have the lending tab, so all, all those inquiries get funneled and we we attend to them quickly, right? Like just like they're a text message, right? So they're right in front of us and. You know, just knowing that as a realtor, you you have a strong, valid lending resource to meet you wherever you're at and walk with you to the finish line of closed transactions. Um, th that's key. And I, I hope that really, you know, hits home with our realtors out there that, you know, we, we want to do anything and everything we can to help you win, to help you succeed, to close more deals, set, send us the, the, the ugly transactions, the tough transactions, the, the, the folks with low credit scores, difficult to um, document um, income. Like we'll figure out a way to make it work. If, if we, we find that, you know, hey, by the way, there's there's a couple other people living in the house and they have other sources of income. We will add more borrowers to the file to make it work. So that that's our overall mentality and philosophy when, when it comes to uh, our realtor partnership. We're business partners. We're, we're going the same direction and that's to the top. Good point. Um, someone, someone asked in here, uh, do we have a cross-qualifying procedure? Now, cross-qualifying is a touchy subject to some people. Some people want a lender partner to do a very thorough cross-qualifying, and some other listing agents want more of a subtle approach to just help them review documents and get that over. I think that is a procedure as we go through, we could, um, we could handle based off of how you like that to be handled, because um, we could be as diligent as we want. We could go in and ask for everything, a free pre-approval packet, um, 1003. 1003 credit scores, um, DU approval, um, income docs. I, we can ask for everything and we can make that a standard if that is how you like to practice real estate. Or we could do more of a send us your pre-approval packet, let us review us, and we can even call the, um, the other agent for you and see if we could um, ask them questions and or call the borrower and ask them unnecessary questions um, to do that cross call to the best of our ability. But I really think that is up to the um, a, a, just a talk on an individual basis on how they like to handle that. Some agents really like it. Some agents um, don't find it uh, necessary or even want it, want any part of that. So it really just depends. Um, that was, uh, yeah, Tyrone, again, we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to you and um, if you're looking for someone to cross-qualify, um, 100% we can get that done for you on, on any level you'd like. 
we can, we can be thorough, thorough or not thorough. Um, and, ju and just to can that, um, you know, it, it's as easy as sending us the, the buyer's pre-approval letter. So if it's one of your listings, your vetting offers, you have the pre-approval letter, send us the pre-approval letter. We can call their loan officer and we can call their bluff, right? We could see how we will know within several minutes on the phone with their loan officer, if they've even done a full pre-approval, right? So just to keep it simple, um, if, if you, you need cross-qualifying, send us the pre-approval letter, say, hey guys, need a cross-qual on, on these files. We'll pick up the phone, we'll get it done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. And it depends on what you want. I mean, they could put you could put anything on a loan application you want, guys. I could say I make a million dollars and get DU to give me an approval and then send that pre-approval out. So again, if you want us to get thorough, we can most definitely get thorough. If you're just saying, hey, I need help getting through, I want, I want these guys vetted to the best of your ability, you just let us know. Um, I've had it work. I have real I have quite a few realtor partners. I've had it work many ways. Um, i it's always been a subject of do you want it? It's a service we could offer you. And if so, let's plan it out on how you want it. Um, a really easy conversation, but we'll get with you on that for sure. City and grant loan programs. Based on where you're at and what lenders we do, we do have access to some of those loan programs. Along with down payment assistance, SANOA, um, other down payment assistance types of programs. Um, there's a lot of things out there people don't know. We have a borrower smart program that's given $2,500 back for closing costs if your borrower falls under this program. Um, a lot of good things going on right now, but yes, we have access to all those city and grant programs. And something else that led me to um, just say this is, guys, we're licensed in a lot of states and we're growing nationwide. So this is a great time if you have clients leaving the state that you could um, stick with them forever by having us do the, you're gonna refer them out of state anyway to another agent. We could handle the loan out of state if it's in a state we're licensed in, and then also stay top of mind with them so, and this has happened many times where I've relocated someone to Texas, I'm still top of mind to them. They refer me all their family members that are still behind in California, because again, with the technology and everything we have to stay top of mind, we always want to filter all that business back to our specific realtor partner that the connection came from. So again, it gives us a more opportunity to get more wins across state lines and have those referral partners and all them funnel right back to us because we kept them in our side of the transaction. Now, if you're working with an outside lender and let's say by chance, that outside lender gets the phone call before you do, he has the opportunity to put that listing or that buyer with someone else rather than keeping it in the house. And if you don't think that happens, I promise you that happens. Um, I've, I've, I've heard of the stories. So something to think about there also, we want to filter the business back to the business, our clients back to our business. And working as a team is the absolute best way to accomplish all of that. And if I, if I could just add um, to the the grants and city programs, so on and so forth, um, you know, it's, it's funny because it seems like now a lot of like the grant and city programs, um, they're still out there. They're a little old school. Um, now, like we have down payment assistance programs that, that are actually handled by the lender directly. And so you have a, a first mortgage that's an FHA mortgage and they, they back up the down payment assistance to cover that three and a half percent, all done in-house, made very easy, very seamless, right? And so, you know, typically um, if uh, someone mentions a, a grant, they're looking for like a down payment assistance program and that's from a buyer's perspective. So, so the answer is yes. Let's get your pre-approval process started. Let's see what options we have for you. Um, and, and that's kind of how we handle that. And it's a lot easier than it used to be. I have a question on that. Um, it seems like those grant programs, the income that they need to qualify, it doesn't match to the prices that we currently have. So it seems like they're, they're, they don't work. That um, is true. And so let, like, let me elaborate on that. And so in, in regards to that, you're absolutely right, which is why, you know, we, we, we almost don't even really need those programs a lot of the times because of that reason. And so we'll, we'll go with a, a down payment assistance program that we have access to through our lenders that, that I just mentioned, where it's an FHA first mortgage, three and a half percent down payment assistance program that doesn't have any income restrictions. So yeah, you're absolutely right. We, we have ways to uh, overcome that obstacle. Any other questions? Hey, um, if, if I could just uh, talk a little bit about a program that, that's exclusive um, to, to us uh, through UWM. And, and it's, it's called, called Borrower Smart, Smart. And, and with Borrower Smart, Smart it, it offers a few different things right now. Going back to uh, what we were discussing in regards to income limits, 
Th there, there are, are uh, you know, loan, loan programs, programs that are out, out there that will enable a borrower to, to uh, uh, buy a house with as little as 3% down on a conventional loan. loan. Now, in order to qualify for those programs, you would typically be restricted by area median income limitations. Well, with this program, we, we can actually go up to 120% of the area median income. So if a, if a customer, if a client, if a buyer wants to get a conventional loan, put minimal money down, we can do 3% down, 120% of the um, area median income. Yeah, great program, guys. Again, we have 50 wholesalers, 50 lenders with all sorts of variety of programs. The best way to know if we have a bucket or a box we can fit the client in is send us your scenarios. We'll tell you exactly what we have. We feed those scenarios to our team members on the back end that are going to be able to reach out to you quickly to ensure turn times that are fast um, and communication that is clear and right through the same systems we all operate on. So there almost is a loan program for everybody. Um, I believe we just had someone submit a 100% a VA, 100% financing VA loan with a 502 credit score, and they're going to fund that loan. So again, we have, we have programs for everybody. It's just finding out the right investor they work with, making sure it fits within their, their budget, their pocket, and they're okay with it, and we can get them into a, in, into a home. That's for investment properties and for um, primary homes. So keep that in mind. We have almost everything under the sun. There's, there's nothing we can't do. I do have a question for you, Blake. Yes. Um, mentioning the FIO2 FICO, what about for those who have less than 640 and the down payment is going to be higher? Should I assume that? Or can, let's say, an instance for uh, FHA, normally, as we know, FHA is three and a half percent. One more time, for those who have a low FICO, they gotta be prepared for high down payment? Depending on how low the FICO is, yes, a lot of times you would counteract the low FICO with a possibly higher down payment, five, 10%, something like that. Now, um, the first area we'd always look for though with someone with uh, lower credit, we'd help them with their credit, see if we get their credit up instantly by using the technology and tools we have within our loan operating system. Um, secondly is, um, Below a 640, they're not going to have to come in with more than three and a half percent. We're going to talk below five in the in the high fives, low fives, mid 500 credit scores. Those are, those are we're, we're going to be presented with having um, possibilities of having a higher down payment than three and a half percent. But that is not always the case, and it's not a blanket statement. And it depends on the low loan program too. Like I said, the 502 credit score is 100 percent financing because of the VA loan. Um, that's a slam dunk win. And we have a, an investor that took that deal um, due to um, 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 circumstances of the file. So again, depending on uh, um, circumstances of the borrower in the file too, we might be able to look at things and exert things on credit or know certain answers that are going to allow us to get over those extra down payment hurdles if necessary. Real fast, Blake, I'd love to touch, touch on that. Scott Steele, guys, um, just to make it very, very simple, anything uh, 580 and above can be three and a half percent down on FHA. 500 to 580 is 10% down. So if you're 640, I don't care about 640 to 580, I can get you three and a half, but 580 to 500 is the minimum 10% down. Of, uh, we have a lender that'll do that. And then to touch on the, the VA, they actually started with a 481 and they were freaking out and I ran their credit and just to get them to, fi to, to 500 I needed, they just needed to pay $300 in their credit card. That's what it took to get them to 500 and we got a $630,000 new purchase. So it's yeah, definitely exactly. doable. There's nothing that's not, sorry. Yep. No, you did good, Scott. That was actually Scott's um, deal I was talking about on it and Scott hit a home run with it. He's 100% right. So to keep it simple though, um, we could go dive into guidelines all day, submit a few scenarios. We have people like Scott and Gabe on the backside ready to take the loans, work them for you, close them really quick. A lot of knowledge guys, just like everything else we do at 21st Century Masters um, or Century 21 Masters, um, is we train, we teach, and we utilize all the tools that are given to us to make sure we deliver on excellence. Scott chimed in perfectly, and you can see all of our loan officers are um, ready to work and get deals closed for you guys. Any other questions out there? Yes, oh, I do have another time. question. I do have a, one more question for you, Blake. Yes, ma'am. Um, I do have a potential buyer. I spoke with his mom yesterday. 
He okay. was working uh, for two years as a um, manager at McDonald's, and he switched for different jobs, uh, barely for a year. He's a truck driver right now. Okay. So, so see, he switched a uh, field, but sounds like uh, he's making double, triple more. So you, uh, you guys will take in consideration or oh, this potential buyer must have to have two years in the current job. So good question. What was his job prior to becoming a truck driver? Uh, I was a manager at McDonald's. Uh, manager at McDonald's, okay. Um, as a truck driver, is he an independent operator, do you know, or is he a uh, W-2 employee? Oh, no, it's an employee, W-2 employee. W-2 employee, yeah. We, he, as long as he has any two-year work history, doesn't matter if it's changed from one job field to another, we are able to get him a loan. The loan program for something like this, we'd utilize is probably an FHA loan program where we could do three and a half percent down based on credit, like Scott said, and um, get him programmed. What they want to see in most, in, in some loan programs, I should say, is a two-year work history. And then in other loan programs, they want to see a two-year work history in the same um, industry that you've been working in. But we do have a workaround for that. It's okay to be a manager at McDonald's and then come back and become a truck driver and buy a home and we could get them taken care of. Why don't you throw your phone number in the chat and I'll give you a call after and um, we can get you paired up with someone and get that scenario worked out for you. Get them pre-approved ASAP. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Drop your number in the chat and Gabe will grab it for us. I, actually, okay. you know what? I have your number. I have your contact. I, I, I will actually reach out to you directly right after this. You don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Great. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions, guys? Perfect, guys. That was our time today. I really appreciate everybody bearing with us and joining our call today. Looks like we had about 35 rep, uh, um, participants. If anybody needs anything at all, again, please, we are going to drop the scenarios and the loan um, pre-approval link um, in the chat right now. I'll have Gabe do it. So before you sign off, just copy and paste that link to go to the resources page on our website. Click on the lending tab, drop down. You'll see about 21st century lending. We'll get you guys um, squared away, partnered up, and your loans processed and submitted really quickly. Um, reach out to me with any questions, um, any concerns, and if as we start to do business together, guys, anything you have to do with your loan files, myself, Gabe, or our pipeline manager will hop on that and get all over any questions you guys have at any time. Use me as your resource. And again, I appreciate you guys today for showing up. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Um, if no other questions, um, we will sign off here and get you guys. Um, Blake, I have a quick company. question. Oh, yes, ma'am. No, Monica, we're out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, just cut them off. She's going to stop them. I can answer quick, or ask quickly. I know. <laughs> and I'm sorry uh, if I miss this part, but I do actually have a client right now that uh, wants to get pre-approved. He's Spanish speaking. Um, who can I talk to um, to try and put these two together? They're looking to buy. Um, well, they may have to wait, buy, uh, wait until January. That's one of the questions. Um, I'm thinking just because I do have some a lending background, I'm thinking that they don't necessarily have to wait, but I don't okay. know what the new guidelines. All right, Monica, let's do this. We'll hop off this chat. Can I give you a call right away? And um, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get working on this one for you and um, see who we can partner you up with. We have a lot of really good, strong Spanish speaking loan officers in the company. Um, so we'll be able to get this addressed for you and get all your questions answered today. That's wonderful, I appreciate that, thanks. And I appreciate you, Monica, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Any other questions, guys? I could be here all day. <laughs> I love it, I mean, talking to people is what I do best. So any other questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll sign off. I know I'm gonna call Monica, Rosalinda, I'll give you guys a call right now. My contact information is in the chat, resources page for the rest of the stuff. Um, stay blessed, guys, and I appreciate the time today. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Woohoo! Good job. I love it. Good, good work.